Okay, so let's talk about my favorites uh, from the last, I don't know, six months. I did my last favorites, I think, six months ago. So let's call this one my spring of 2019 favorites. I think favorite is me going to a photography fair. It was really nice to just see some brands that are represented. They had workshops as well. And yeah, I went to my favorite supplier from ePrint and I could see some new products that they have. Um, so yeah, let me just show you a little bit of me walking around at the fair because I think that's another favorite. Um, yeah, so let's go to that one. So today I'm going to professional imaging. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm just going to look around, see if I can attend some classes and just look at cool stuff. Uh, but there's a light over here and it's darker on this side, so it goes light to dark, left to right of the background. But the thing And so I have this really kind of moody light to the side happening. If I wanted to make this a little bit more of a traditional beauty light, we'll bring it around a little bit. Make sure the hair is okay. There we go. But I really wanted to just kind of make a point, kind of see the background here a little bit. The back up is pretend. So we can see a little bit of the background light, and I'm going to brighten this up so you can kind of see what I'm seeing and make it a little bit easier for you. Okay, that's a little bit closer, I think, so you can, you can see the background there, right? So now I'm going to throw the grid in. image but because the right image has a more clearly defined style and because it fits into the concept of what the shoot needs to be dentally stumbling across something that kind of looked like what I do now it's like a dramatic portion he was a painter you know there's 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 some kind there's some market for it with with model testing and stuff like that but I needed to find a way to create a little bit more of a of an actual commercial application for it so 
I started kind of translating the color. And I love shooting in black and white. It all starts from a point of creativity. Grew with that idea. Um, that's the hard part, believe it or not. It's not coming up with the idea. It's actually holding yourself to the fire and, and, and allowing yourself to actually follow through with it. So. Okay, so I'm heading out. Um, I spent quite a few hours inside and I really love the key speaker. I'm gonna continue talking when I'm in my car. Okay, so I'm back in the car. Um, that was just a very short overview of the professional imaging fair. So I've heard many photographers who go every year and um, people spend the whole day at the fair. For me, it is a little bit after noon right now and I'm ready to go home. I just wanted to mention the person who I thought was very interesting to listen to. So that was the main speaker of the event. Yeah, Chris Knight. So when I was coming in, in the live shoot theater, he was talking about the low-key portrait and showing some examples with a model. He only used one model and one setup. So um, yeah, he could have done more, but it was still interesting to see, interesting to listen to. He used like modifiers, um, screens, and then he changed his light. He changed the distance from the light in the model and well I filmed a few parts and bits so you can see those uh, that was interesting to watch and he just explained the Rembrandt Rembrandt van Gogh that's his name the Rembrandt light and um, I want to use that a little bit more in my classical timeless child portraits and adult port portraits so I was quite interested in that I walked around a little bit. I am not too interested in seeing all the cameras and the lenses and the gear because if I have my eye set on a certain lens, I will just look online for it and then order it. And I don't really have to test it beforehand. <laughs> but yeah, if you are um, not sure which lens you wanna buy, then of course you can test it out. People were walking around with their own cameras and there were some models. And I think some places you could shoot with your own camera, I think. Um, but I wouldn't do that in a, during a fair, I guess. Then I would just invite a model to my studio, I think. But um, yeah, in, with several brands, you could see products, demonstrations. Uh, there were people there that you could ask questions. So that was interesting. What I really liked seeing were the products of my favorite um, printing agency, which is ePrint. They have beautiful boxes with prints that you can offer to your clients. So. I'm thinking about maybe offering a few more products to my clients instead of just uh, digital files. So then it makes it really interesting to see those products, of course, and they are beautiful. Chris Knight was also speaking about, you know, his work, then his style that he developed over the years. So he was showing some earlier on photos and then some photos that he took on later on, how he developed his own style and how he, had, you know, a creative idea and then we just like build onto it and develop his own style so that was really interesting to see um but yeah it's not like i want to buy everything that i've seen or that i want to spend hours and hours just walking around and um seeing all the products and everything i'm really happy with the camera i currently have i'm super happy with the lenses i'm happy with the the speed lights i'm using yeah godox was there so i'm using their gear as well uh, so that was really nice which was just nice to meet the people um yeah so yeah it was interesting i don't know if i want to go every year but it was interesting to see and now i'm gonna head home so i'm in the studio and i have a little package to open yes i love how she added a business card so looking very beautiful um so yeah petite blossom here you can see her web page as well and i love the color scheme so here you see the bonnet. It is stretchy. It looks very small, but I think it fits really well on a newborn. I don't use bonnets very often because they are usually very big and chunky on a newborn, but I like this size. I think this is really nice. So this is like a circular wrap. And you can create like this beautiful baby nest. Um, you can use it in several ways. So I'm going to use it during a newborn shoot and then um, show you. Beautiful stretch wrap. And then I have a beautiful new backdrop. So I'm super happy with these new products. I'm going to test them out, show you the photos. Okay, so I'm setting up for a newborn session with a little girl. So we're going for the new 
purple set from Petit Blossom. Well, this is not the outfit that belongs to the set, but it's the backdrop, the wrap, the hat, headbands, and then this baby nest, which I wanna test out. So I found these pants at the Zara and they're like a new favorite to wear in the studio. So I just wanted to share it with you in my favorites video. Um, so yeah, they're like a paperback style. They're super light and airy. You got pockets for like your lens cap or something. Um, and uh, so yeah, super comfy. Okay, so I got these glasses. They are not my favorite but i'm glad that i got them they're from charlie temple i'll put the screenshot somewhere in here because people have been asking me which glasses i'm wearing you actually order them online uh, online you fill out your prescription um and then you cannot really try on what it looks like but you just get it sent home it's a lot cheaper than going to a regular store so yeah this is the ceo small um another favorite i'm just gonna mention them in random order so then i'm gonna cut and paste, paste fragments in here to show you the actual products so yeah big favorite my flocatis they're so fluffy they're so soft i love the mint green one i love the off-white one the pink faux fur i'm not too big of a fan of but i still like it for little newborn girls to lie in uh, but not as much for a sitter session because it looks pretty flat and um, just a little bit too artificial. Another favorite, I'm gonna show you right here, um, is this uh, bracket thing. But it's holding out my speed light and make sure that the uh, most fragile part of the speed light doesn't break. So it's just like uh, hanging in there. Another favorite of the last few months is of course, my new Godox AD400, the strobe that doesn't need any power cords because it has like a battery on the back and you just charge it and then you can use it the whole day, no problems. I have really cool modifiers for the strobe. So I have this beautiful beauty disc and a beautiful softbook. Then another favorite, of course, my dresses from the thrift store. So I have them right here. The beautiful wedding dress, the pink dress, and the jacket. Okay, and then there was one more thing I got from the thrift store and I didn't even show you because I came back another day and I forgot to film. It's this hat. How cool is this hat? And here we have another favorite. I love this sign uh, welcoming the clients into the studio, at least the name of the child. Parents get really uh, excited. They often take a photo of the actual sign. Good marketing. So yeah, here are the Flocatis I mentioned before, but they're definitely favorites. So soft and fluffy. I'm just walking through the studio to see what else I got new and what I can show you as favorite. Most of the items I already had. Um, so yeah, I think there's one more thing. As I'm in the kitchen there, kitchen there are actually a few more things. I do actually really like this bubble bath. I was looking for one that's all natural or like 99.9% .9 natural, uh, but still gives bubbles. So this one doesn't give too many bubbles, uh, but they stay long enough for the baby to splash in the bath. I take photos. Now, another thing I got, which I really liked, is this bottle heater. Um, I think it's from a German brand. I got it online. And uh, I love how it shows the actual temperature of the water like digitally here on the screen. And like heating up time for like breast milk from like room temperature to nice and warm is like between five and eight minutes. So it's not the fastest one, but it does fit most of the bottles that the people bring. I'm also considering maybe offering some products. So I had like a demo album made. 
uh, which I like. I'm just gonna show it in a separate fragment. Um, it's from the same supplier as I order my wedding albums from and I think it's a nice size. I love how the papers are like completely like flat and you can like wipe them clean. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to see if I can offer this to customers. Uh, it's from ePrint, a uh, very nice company. I actually saw them on the fair as well. And then I also really like these garlands I got at a local garden center. Uh, they were even like 50% off. I haven't used this one yet. I've used the white one a few times already though. I bought them in white and in this like reddish pink. So it was only three euros 99 and you can hang it in the back during a cake smash session. So I think that one's really good deal. So yeah, here you see the white one. I used it a few times already. And I attached some roses as well to it just to dress it up a little bit. Very nice. I also actually really like these fake plants that I got in just like a Hobby Lobby kind of store um, to dress up a newborn session decor, especially there with the dark wood. So that one was a good buy as well. Another favorite, I'm just gonna open it here. It's this little garland I got um, and I'm gonna use it today during the cake smash session. It's paper, it's from a store called Hema and I like it. Very cute. I like it. The garland is a little bit too short, so I have to add an extra string to make it a little bit longer. This is gonna be the cake for today. Okay, so here you can see the cake now with a mustard yellow drip. I think it's really pretty. And then this is the back, a little bit simple. And the garlands. I think the garland, garlands is really cool. Here you can see it's just paper. You can even like cut it yourself. But I'm glad that they sold this because it saves me a lot of time cutting. <laughs> Very nice. And then as a surprise, I also have this decor set up because the boy is not bringing an older sibling. So we have a little bit more time. And the mom asked if we can use the dark wood actually for a cake smash session. So I told her no, because it's impossible to clean. But I have this yellow basket. So we're gonna do a few. What is that now? That is like, oh, what is that now? That is like, that is like, Those were some of my favorites from the last few months. Some things you've already seen in video, some things maybe not yet. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Love to read your comments. Where do you get all your gear and all your stuff? And then, um, yeah, you can see me in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.